Hello there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. We are creating projects we made in my WOW class. WOW is a stepped up kind of advanced class that I have for my local folks. And this project is absolutely fantastic. This is using our nested labels die and creating this adorable little box. This came from my friend Brenda Quintana. She is a demonstrator in, I think she's in Massachusetts. We met on one of the incentive trips because her son and my son are the same age. And uh, when I saw this, I'm like, this is fantastic. Now it is definitely a wow project. So this video may take a little bit longer as I explain how to go through the, the parts of it. But um, I just, I absolutely loved it. So thank you, Brenda. You are amazing. She is QB Stampers. If you ever find her online, she has amazing 3D projects. And I'm pretty sure that her brain works like uh, a magician. I mean, she's like a mathematician. She can create how these scores are going to go together. It's phenomenal. So thank you, um, because my brain does not work like that at all. But it's really good at following directions. So we're using the Free as a Bird stamp set and the Nesting Labels dies. So we're going to pull in our Simply Score tool. The other thing that we're going to use is... Uh, whisp, thick Whisper White. That actually just makes this... Uh, we're in trouble already. No, we're not. We're okay. Um, that makes this project go together so much, so much better. So we're going to take two pieces of Whisper White, and they are very, very similar in size, but you're going to notice that one is a smidge bigger than the other, and that is so that the top can go over top of the bottom. So we're going to take a piece that is 10 and 1 8 and, and um, by two. And we're gonna score at two and five eighths. So now we were having a lesson in my studio on um, the eighths and the sixteenths. I know these are tiny, not normal measurements, but if you've got the Simply Scored tool, you can see there's little tiny notches in between the bigger ones, and those are your eighths. So I always remember that the, that the five eighths is the little one after the half. So sometimes you have to kind of do some counting and you'll see that I do that sometimes too, uh, just to make sure that I am on the right one. So three and three quarters is our next one. Four and seven eighths, and I always remember that the seven eighths is the little one before the, before the big number. So the four and seven eighths is the little one before the five. Four and seven eighths, seven and a half, eight and five eighths, so it's the little one after the half, and nine and three quarters, okay? So this is going to be our base. Now, while I've got the score tool, I'm actually going to take a piece of designer series paper and I'm going to attach it to one of the sides. Uh, this, this is going to be the lid that we're using. So I'll go ahead and put that on now so when I do my score, I'm actually going to score the paper as well and then it's going to fold a little bit, a little bit better. So you're just going to meet that right along the edge. Just run that strip down across there. It's a little teeny, teeny bit long, so I'm just going to cut that off. No problem. Oh, you know what? Back back that train up. Let's go back to our lid here, our base here, and we're going to put it in at the two inch side at the top, and I'm going to score it at one and five eighths, because that, that's definitely an important step. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. Now this one is just, it looks like it's cut. Oh, I think it's okay. Um, it's uh, basically the same, oh, so it's gonna be the same width, but it's a little bit longer. So this one is 10 and 3 eighths long instead of 10 and 1 eighth. So I'm gonna do the same thing, is I'm gonna put this in, so the two inch side is at the top. I'm gonna have my DSP over to the left, and I'm gonna do 1 and 5 eighths on this one as well. Okay, then I'm gonna put that across the top and our scores are going to be two and three quarters, three and seven eighths, five, 
seven and three quarter, eight and seven eighths, and 10. All right, so that's it for scoring. So let me get this out of the way. And as I said, you're gonna have to bear with me on this one because I am gonna go through the whole the whole shebang here because it is definitely one that you kind of need to really follow along. So we're just gonna burnish all these score lines. That kind of helps it start to go together. Okay, so that's our lid because the lid has the designer paper on it. That's very helpful so you don't get confused. And then the piece without is going to be the bottom of the box. Okay, so now we need to do a little bit of cutting. And what we need to do is get rid of this little box here, that teeny tiny one that's on the end. We're gonna get rid of that one. And then we're just gonna angle that flap just a little bit. And we're gonna angle this flap just a little bit. This just helps it go together. Now where you see that you've got the score lines that come all the way down and we're working on this little flap right here because this makes the bottom of our box, we are going to put triangles in there. Okay, so it, you do not have to be perfect. Don't worry about measuring. You just basically want that score line to be in the middle of the triangle. And what that's doing is beveling the edges of the flaps. And that's gonna help this go together here much, much better. And we do need to do that on both panels, top and bottom. And then we're just gonna notch that one as well. This one, I think I'm gonna angle that just a smidge more because I didn't quite get, there we go. All right, same thing on this one. We get rid of that little panel at the bottom, that little square, and then we're gonna bevel that and bevel that, and then make those little triangles. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's always early morning when I make these and I've been making videos for the last couple hours and I'm really, really thirsty. No one's home to get me a drink. And then we're just gonna angle that one, okay? So let me get these out of the way here. <coughs> so we're going to work with the bottom panel and I'm gonna have two large um, nested labels and I'm, I think these are the second and third largest. And then I need two of these, two of the third largest, second largest. This one, this one I went ahead and did a little bit of work on. So we need this one right now. And what we're gonna do is take, uh, I do like the green glue. You'll find that I don't often use this, but I really do like it for this project because you have a little time to move things around. So we're gonna glue, maybe, are you glued shut there? Okay, so we're gonna bring this around and we're just gonna make those two ends meet right here. And I think I got way too much glue. Okay, so we do need to hold it for a little bit to make sure that it sticks. It's always good to wipe some on your pants. Okay. All right, so um, that kind of starts to go, see how these guys are gonna fold in here and it starts to get into that shape of the box. So now we're gonna take a little bit of the glue. You don't need a lot, just a little strip, because this stuff is very, 
uh, very sticky, which is awesome. So we're just gonna do a little strip on each flap and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take the edges, the long edges, and we're gonna make them meet on this box, on this edge. Um, so it almost, <laughs> we were laughing that you need like two hands to do this. Uh, kind of start to spread your box out a little bit, but if you've got your edges meeting, you're in good shape, okay? But you still need to hold it, hold it down. Now, you'll, I see a little tiny bit of box, you know, of, I don't want to say, not a little tiny bit of box, but, um, you know, if you have a, if you see a little bit of the nesting label, it's okay. But if you're getting these sides lined up, you can kind of push that, those little triangle, those little points out to the front and flip it over, kind of push it down. I also will use my bone folder, kind of make sure they're stuck there. Okay. Now, the other thing that I did was, this is a little easier said than done. Um, I did take a little piece of the DSP and just did a little bit of glue on there. It doesn't need to be a ton because it does really hold well. And I'm gonna put that down inside. That's just like a little, um, I don't know, what's it called? Just like a little bottom to the box. It does need to be the next size smaller, okay? Otherwise it won't, it won't fit. Just like a little, a little mat down in there so that when you put your, your treat in there, you know, they've got, that's a little crooked, but is how it's gonna be. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take a, the bigger one. I'm gonna do my green glue on here. I've got the bigger one now and I'm gonna put this down on top of it and I'm just kind of eyeballing it and trying to get it as straight, as straight as I can. And I'm gonna hold that for a couple seconds. I can flip it over, kind of really make sure that it's sticking. Bone folder in there. Okay. Now, now my box is not exact. It is a little bit crooked and that's, that's okay. It is not a big deal. Um, so the next thing we're gonna pull in our top, give that a couple secs to dry. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use uh, mono on this one. All right, now the key to this is you need to use the bottom of this box to, to um, wrap around, otherwise it's not gonna fit. So you need this bottom to be your guide okay so now you have that over top okay same thing we're going to do now with this one we don't have to use that little piece we just need the biggest a little bit of green glue on here and you're just going to take your biggest piece and you're going to lay it over top and kind of eyeball it. So that it's about the same. I'm going to flip it over, kind of give it some time to adhere. And now what I'm going to try and do is very carefully take my top off, maybe because I don't want it to glue together. That's the main, the main deal. Maybe I got it wrapped a little bit too tight. Come on now, because they're both still a little bit wet. Okay, so we're gonna take that off. Now I'm gonna go in with the bone folder and really push, 
push those little flappies down. Okay, so those pieces are going to dry. So in the meantime, you're going to come back with your smaller uh, label die. You're going to go ahead and stamp, do your coloring. And uh, I've got a piece of ribbon here. Get rid of that. Oh, lost my glue dot. So I'm going to take some of this really cute ribbon here, just tie myself a little bow. Maybe, maybe it's a little short. Oh my gosh, I've got, I have uh, glue on my fingers and it's sticking to my ribbon. It's not working like I wanted. All right, here we go. Just kind of work it a little bit. And then I'm going to attach, whoops, we're, oh, they're in front of me. Hello. Hello. All right, got a glue dot. I think I might need two of them. Okay, a little glue dot here in the corner. Then some dimensionals, which I've been playing Halloween. So I've got the black dimensionals that are new in our holiday catalog. They are fantastic. <clears throat> Put my thank you on here. Then I'm gonna do dimensionals on this as well. Whoops. Okay, so I, I said in one of my other videos too, I, I was not quite sure what we needed black dimensionals for, but let me tell you, when I was playing Halloween and I was working with some projects and they were little tiny and I don't like seeing the white stick out the edge. So black dimensionals, yes, they're fantastic. All right, and we have big ones and little ones. A little trim on here. And now we have a fantastic little, I don't want to put that on it actually because they're drying, but there you go. The fantastic little treat box. Isn't that awesome? Um, thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I hope that you will make some of these boxes because they are super, super cute. And have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.